This is Slade McLennan with Sunbelt Fire. Today we would like to thank the Northport Fire Department in Alabama on the recent purchase of three custom E1 pumpers. The fire department has done a dynamite job in laying out and designing some of the newest technology and just state-of-the-art technology for the fire service. We would like to thank them again for putting their faith and trust in Sunbelt Fire and E1 to build their apparatus to help them protect their community. We would like to walk you through one of these apparatus here to just show you all of the features and benefits for what they have in this particular design here. So we'll start off on this particular cab here. All of these trucks are built on an E1 custom cab. As you know, all of the E1 cabs have roll cage protection built into them as well as their bodies. They have a roll cage protection design in their bodies as well. This is all designed with the aluminum extrusion um, material and processes and it really helps them have the safest and most durable apparatus for the life of their actual um, equipment here. This is on a medium Typhoon cab. It has the Vista roof and all of the lighting is Wayland LED lighting on the upper level as well as their lower level lighting. They also have the traditional Q2B siren that everybody has come to love in the fire service. One neat thing too, and you'll see this on all of the apparatus here, but it has a portable worn winch that can be mounted on the front, on the sides, and on the rear of their apparatus as well. So they can actually move and deploy that winch in any direction or angle of the apparatus. I'm going to walk you through the inside of the cab here in a little bit, but this has a Cummins 450 horsepower engine with the Allison EVS 4000 transmission. So let's take a look on the side. I'll show you another picture of the, actually the whole body with the striping on there, but just wanted to kind of walk you through this particular design here. One thing that people have come to love is the American flag that is able now to be able to be put on both of the um, windows on the cab. All of their scene lighting is, is, is mounted on, you know, on the side of the cab as well. It does a great job for nighttime for letting them see more lighting. I'm gonna take you to the pump panel here. They have a Waters 1250 GPM pump. They have a 780 gallon water tank as well as a 30 gallon foam tank for their foam. They have the Akron foam inductor here that's placed as well as their foam level gauges and their water level gauges and then all of their pre-connects and discharges as well as intake gauges are directly here up and above. They also have the TFT ball intake valve that is mounted on both sides and we'll show you that in a little bit. You can actually see the access into the actual, you know, up onto the pump panel. They have an enormous amount of storage up there to put tooling, whether shovels or flaps or what have you. And they also have the quartz lights, the magnifier 900 quartz lights that are mounted um, on both sides of this actual body here. So we'll kind of take you around into this first compartment that you can tell they have a lot of equipment that is mounted onto this apparatus. So whether it's, it's their, their nozzles or their hose clamps or valves or wires or whatever it might be, you're going to see a lot of tooling on this particular truck. They also had the TFT crossfire monitor that is mounted up above, but they actually have the base stand to be able to deploy it out on the ground to feed it with discharge lines if they chose to use that option for it. That you can actually see here is their worn winch. That this is where it can be taken out and deployed on the front or on the side. Really, really you know, neat technology for what they're using that for and doing that. You can see a lot of their flares and, um, and extinguishers mounted in there. They have an enormous amount of SCBA compartment storage for their SCBA bottles that are mounted here that you can actually see their, their wetting agent or their foam concentrate here mounted up into this particular compartment. On the back here that you're actually seeing um, a really neat design too, that this is a pull-out tray, 500 pound pull-out tray, and that this is actually showing their setup for their hydraulic tools. So they have their power unit here, and then that they actually have their cutter and their ram here and their spreader that's mounted in the upper you know, compartment, and then that they have their actual saws here. So again, they are loaded and set up here and ready to deploy out on any type of an emergency accident um, you know, at the scene. At the rear of the compartment, that you can see their actual hose bed design up, up above, and then they have the safety vision rear camera on all of the apparatus. Really neat screen on the inside, really helps the firefighter when they're backing up or driving around. You can also tell that this has a pull-out tray for their actual fan here. So they have a great setup here, and then showing you another adjustable tray up above. Now this is showing 
their actual um, MSA SCBA that's mounted up above here. Then, then it's actually showing you their ladder storage capability. They have their attic ladder up above, their pipe poles, and then their 14 and 24 foot ladder, as well as a, a storage area for a backboard on this inside. So great design and set up here. Now, as we take you to this side, before we do, I wanted to give you a quick snapshot of what the body design would look like. They did a great job in their actual design there. So it has the Scotch light striping and it has the yellow, you know, over the black and then yellow. That's Scotch light there, really neat design and setup. Now, as I take you through the officer side, but this is showing you that they have the Harrison, you know, 5000 generator here. Really neat design. Harrison is doing a great job and actually coming in here and just setting up, you know, a generator option for the fire service. Showing you how they have mounted their actual, um, their axes and their pry bar. And then just showing you their extinguishers on the inside here over the wheel well. And then another adjustable shelf here. So this is just showing you they've got a lot of shelving options and room for the actual firefighter. Now, as I come to the actual side here, this is just showing you the officer side pump panel, showing you the access into their pump panel here. Their, their discharges, that they have their, um, you know, a, a discharge here and then a three inch discharge below it. Then it's just showing you their pre-connects and where their foam line is connected for their pre-connect too. Now we have a lot of um, storage or, or equipment that's going to be shipped to the actual fire um, department, but wanted to show you the inside of their cab. They actually have a medical cabinet that's stationed on the inside of the cab. They also have SCBA secure all seating brackets for their SCBA. So they have two, you know, facing rear seats and then two seats facing forward. Really, really neat design. Firefighters have come to just the flexibility inside the cab here. This also has the, the electric locks and the electric windows. So they can actually, you know, just deploy the windows up or down there. Now, as I take you into the actual cab area, I'm actually gonna, gonna take this camera and show you kind of their setup in here. This is a really neat design in here that they actually have um, some more compartmentation in here that you can see what, for if, if they wanted to mount any type of books or what have you there. They have their MSA um, Evolution 5000 thermal imager that's mounted on the inside that you can also see the rear vision camera. It's showing you the new NFPA crew guard for the firefighters for when they're sitting there. It's showing you their their radio system and then their radio um, and then their um, then their science system and then it's also showing you the capability if the officer wanted to have an actual computer mounted onto this particular stand. We would like to again thank the, the Northport Fire Department for putting their faith and trust in us to build their new. Um, three E1 custom calves that we are thrilled and excited to have the privilege to put their um, E1s into service here. If you would like more information about any of these particular apparatus, please feel free to contact us at Sunbelt Fire. You can also check us out on Facebook and Twitter at Sunbelt Fire. Thank you for what you do. Stay safe.